Alrighty. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining. Trisha Clemens here, Chief Fur Wrangler with MuttBuds.com. I provide dog and cat lifestyle tips and also offer products to help your pets be the happiest and healthiest that they can be. So I am, thank you so much for joining. Um, as you can see, Reedy is barking up a storm. So I am going to go ahead and give him his treats because he's having a fit because he saw his snoop. So last night, um, anyone who was watching yesterday, you saw me with his snoop, and you um, pull that out, and then you put the treats in. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get it right, and that's why he's hysterical, because he knows treats come in his snoop. And then, I've got the treats I put in, and then I pop it in, and then I make sure that the treats get in the little lip. And that way, he will work for the treats. I'm going to turn it around. Well, let's see. I'm gonna... Let me go. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, there. You guys can see. Reedy, you want your treats? Let me see. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm trying to turn it around for Reedy. Okay, there he is. There's my Reedy boy. He loves getting his treats out of his snoop. And he will sit there after he's gotten the treats out and just sit there with his snoop and still play with it some. Good boy, Reedy. You love your snoop. So, you see, he was um, barking up a storm when I first came on because he saw the snoop and he knew he was going to get some treats. Reedy, come back here now. Reedy, come in here. Good boy. Stay in here. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit today for just a few minutes um, about um, pets that have issues like diabetes. Um, I was looking up online the other day, and it said that diabetes in pets has ri risen over 900% in the last five years. That number to me was just like amazing. And so neither of my doggies, thankfully, have that issue, and I'm so happy. So, um, Reedy's eating his treats. So one of the things that um, I, if you suspect that your pet has diabetes, please talk to your veterinarian. That's the most important thing um, to remember about that. But when doing a little bit of research, um, one of the things, and it's just one, it has numerous um, different causes, but one of the things is the fact that our pets nowadays are, a lot of them are overweight. They do um, sit inside and are couch potatoes quite a bit. Right, Reedy? Are you a couch potato sometimes? There's his snoop over there. Are you gonna get your snoop, Reedy? Reedy says, I want some T-R-E-A-T-S in it. <laughs> um, so that is one of the reasons um, that they said that there is um, such an increase in diabetes in pets. So um, that's one thing um, that you will want to make sure that you keep your pets um, kind of lean, that they are um, not overweight. Um, you want to make sure they're not too skinny, but make sure that they're not overweight. And that's something that's really important for our pets because we love them so much we want to give them treats all the time. But but um, just remember that it's something that um, even though um, we might, they might have such a cute little face on them that we can't give them treats all the time. Right, Reedy? Right? We can't. I can't give you treats all the time. Um, so one of the great things about the Snoop is um, I give him treats in that and I let him play and pop it around the floor but the other thing is um, you can also put kibble in it and feed them with it so that's something that's really great if you um, have a pet um, if you've got a dog and the dog um, maybe needs to lose a few pounds one of the things that's great you could use um, a toy like the Snoop um, we I do sell that through Desi and Rue uh, hey Marsha how are you um, thanks for joining and um, I'm talking about Reedy with his Snoop and he's um, gotten all of the treats out of it so I'm gonna put a couple more treats in hey thanks so much for joining I'm gonna let's see I'm gonna get up and turn so we can see okay Reedy here's Reedy's Snoop and Reedy you've gotten slobber all over it okay 
Breedy's gotten slobber all over it. Good thing about these is that you can throw them in the dish top shelf of the dishwasher. Um, a lot of times I will um, put them, um, use some detergent and just rinse them off, but sometimes if they get extra icky, I will put them in the top shelf of the dishwasher. Reedy, you've got this thing filthy. And then I make sure I get the treats in the little lip. And then let's see. Reedy, you want, let me turn it around. This would be better for. Reedy? <laughs> okay, Reedy, what are you doing? So he loves, loves his snoop. So that's something that's really good. Um, if you have a dog that maybe needs to lose a little bit of weight, Reedy is a good weight right now. But um, if you do have a dog that needs to lose weight, that's something that's really good. You could put kibble in it and feed them their breakfast and dinner instead of using it for treats. And that other barking, and here's the neighbor doggy next door. Think she sees Reedy getting treats and she's jealous, Reedy. What do you think? You think she's jealous? And he's, he is getting a little bit of exercise bopping that thing around. So you can see some of the treats still up in the side of it there. Reedy. So um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, just a little tip as far as um, your pets if they are getting a little bit overweight because I was reading online last week that um, diabetes in pets has risen over 900% in five years and I just thought that was just, um, that I couldn't believe those numbers were so high. So um, that's why I wanted to just talk about a little bit about um, talking to, if you suspect that your pet has diabetes or um, has any issues like that, make sure you talk to your vet about them. And if it's something that you need to, um, they maybe need to lose a little bit of weight and you need to get them out and exercise them. And the um, other thing that you could also try is feeding them their kibble in something that they have to work for. He is still working for. A lot of times I will use this, um, the Snoop inside, because as you can see, um, he's got it out here. He's got it dirty, but like I said, I just rinse it off. It rinses off really well. Um, he's had this for over a year now. He loves his Snoop. It's one of his favorite toys because there are treats in it his favorite treats too. I make sure I put his favorite treats in there. And he will even, there are times when um, the, the larger the treats are, the harder they are to get out. So when they first start off with it, it's good to, oh Reedy, you're not going to give it to me to get those treats out. You got to work for them. Um, so it's really good to, what you doing Reedy? Get those treats out. He's got it over here next to me because he thinks I'm going to get them out. Um, so, so I just love the Snoop. It's one of my favorites because it works their mind. And that's really important, especially for senior dogs. We were talking about it a little bit yesterday. Of course, I, that's a leaf, Reedy. You don't want to eat that leaf. Um, so, um... We were talking about it a little bit yesterday and how good um, it is for seniors to work their minds as well. So that's the, another reason that I love um, having the Snoop um, toys like that for him to play with where he's working his mind. You got one, Reedy. You got one. I think there might be one left. Can you get it? <laughs> And um, even though it does look like it's a little bit of a large, oop, Reedy, he keeps bringing it over to me because he thinks I'm going to get the treat out of it. Reedy, I'm not getting that treat out of there for you. You have to get it yourself. Um, uh, yeah, and, uh, uh, Reedy, you have to get that treat out yourself. Mama's not going to cheat. But sometimes if it's a really big piece and it gets stuck in there, he'll just like play with it for a long time and carry it all over the house. But he usually gets it out. It's been a little while, but um, he, and I put, let's see, I think three pieces in there of his favorite treats. 
<laughs> but it's really good, like I said, for seniors as well because senior dogs need to work their mind. And this is something that he's having to work for his treats. I might have to wash dishes tonight, Reedy, and put that in there because you've gotten it filthy. We usually play with it on the inside, but I wanted to come outside on the porch with them. <laughs> um, it does just kind of rinse off with just some regular detergent, but um, I, it also does wash in the top shelf of the dishwasher. Right, Reedy? Reedy. Reedy. Are you finished getting all your treats out? Did you get them all out? No, Reedy, I see a treat in there. I see a treat. Oh, you got it, Reedy. Yay, Reedy, you got them all. So this is a really good um, a good product to have them play with to work their mind, but also um, if you have a dog that needs to lose a little bit of weight and you want to have them um, also have them um, feed them their kibble out of it, it's really good for that as well. Hi Steve, thanks for joining. Um, I just had Reedy here um, getting eating his. Oh, you have a diabetic cat. Okay. Um, well, hopefully, um, I know that there are several different things. It depends on um, what they have in each individual case as far as what the vet has them on, whether they have to have shots. Do you have to give your kitty shots? Hey, Steve. You do. Okay. Um, so... Right now, thankfully, um, I don't, ha neither, um, neither of my pets are diabetic. Let me turn it around a little bit. Reedy, he got all of his treats out. Now he's down there doing something. Thankfully, um, Reedy and Margie are all good. They don't have um, any diabetes or anything like that. But I was reading every couple of days you check his sugar twice a day. Okay, okay. Um, I was reading online that... Um, diabetes in pets has risen over 900% in the last five years and I was just shocked by that number and um, they ha it has lots of different causes um, one of the things was um, obesity in pets that's just one of the reasons there are numerous other reasons but if anyone suspects their pet has diabetes please talk to your vet about that um, if you have any any questions about it please talk to your vet about it but um, I did just want to um, have one little tip as far as something if you you, um, have a pet that needed to lose some weight one of the things would be uh, you could put their kibble inside a snoop and have them um, eat the kibble out of that because they have to work for it a little bit hi thanks so much for joining so um, that's what I wanted to come on and talk about Reedy is um, they um, he's a he's a good weight but um, he Margie she she maybe could lose a pound or two. Um, she, I think she goes out and finds all kinds of things to eat that I'm not aware of. So, um, I think because of that, maybe that's why she has, um, has gained a couple of pounds. But, um, I need to have her lose a couple of pounds, so maybe I'll start feeding her some kibble out of a snoop. Um, but Reedy, I also love the snoop because Reedy and Margie are both seniors and it helps work their mind as well. All right, everyone, I just wanted to come on and show you all Reedy playing with his snoop. Reedy, you going to come say bye to everyone? Reedy, come on up here. I'm not sure what he's doing. Come on, Reedy. Come on. Let me turn him around. Reedy. Reedy. Okay. Oops, Reedy, don't trip over your snoop. You left it there. Hi there, Bones of Joy. Thanks for joining. I was get, just getting ready to sign off. Reedy's been playing with his snoop and eating treats out of his snoop. Reedy, they all want to say bye to you. Okay, everyone, look at that cute tongue hanging out for Tongue Out Tuesday, Reedy. Is that what you're doing? Okay, not too close. They need to see you. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you have a great evening, and I will see everyone again soon. Reedy, say bye to everyone. Say bye.